Okay. That was cool. We did it. Snake, you kind of like failed at your mission here. You are supposed to save those two dudes and they both died. His level two card like merged with level one. We want to cut. What door is that? A four? Oh, okay. Well, all that guy did was brag and moan and die. <laughs> That's where I came from, I guess. When am I going to play old Resident Evil 4? Um, wouldn't I have to play Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 3 before I play that? Oh god, there's people in here now? No! Those. You in someone's house when you forget the bathroom location? I'm on- I'm playing on PS2. Wait, what's that? Oh, he's a he's awake again. Hee hee hee. I'll never be caught. Surveillance is judging me in game. This is the best thing I've found in this game so far. Huh? Just a box. <laughs> Just a box. It's fine. Get out of here. Get out. Go away. <laughs> Go away. The box. <laughs> He's not paid to inspect the box. Get out of the way. Oh no! Oh, wait, my box! What's that? I didn't mean for that to work. I didn't mean for that. I didn't mean to do that. How did that... I didn't know I was in prone. That was very lucky. This guy is patrolling the shit out of this little area. I love the box! I don't remember where I was supposed to go. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch... Oh, I know is what to, to do. ...to use the detonation code release keys that Meryl's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I forgot to actually call. Yeah, I knew it was here. Or, er, it's here. Makes me think, like, how they, what did they, when, like, you were a kid and you'd go rent games from, uh, the rental store. And they didn't, and you, you didn't have this, you were just fucked. Cause if you, cause 
If you didn't have this and you didn't have the internet, you were fucked. The internet was around in 98. I did not have the internet in 98. If you were poor, you didn't have the internet in 98. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. <laughs> you came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Yes. That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary <laughs> Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. Mm. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Uh-oh. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, oh. that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? I mean... <laughs> He's dead. What? Heart attack. She's not Same wrong. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. <laughs> mm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. 
I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. They, Ever since I was a little girl, a good point. They I've are always both green. dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this mm. isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. <laughs> okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be <laughs> careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Okay. I didn't mean to call her. Snake, don't be so impatient. <laughs> Do it Slow now! Down. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. Open it! I'll call you when I get the door open. Just wait a little, okay? No! No, I'm playing it on PS2. I'm using an upscaler, that's why it's it looks like this. I even have the case. What was I gonna say? Oh, Chiloko, thank you for the four gift subs. I'm sorry if I didn't thank you already. Thank you so much. Percy hits on you during a nuclear threat and then he pocket dials you. It's true. This man is a mess. This guy is just really patrolling outside this door right now and I don't appreciate it. Like, fuck off, dude. Oh. Snake. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thank you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around <laughs> too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Okay. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. <sighs> See you there. Where is that? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh wait, I can't go this way. Fuck! Mr. 
the box. Get out of the way. Oh. Oh, did he kick it because the box was in his way? The box was on his, like, patrol. I blocked his path. I get it now. Okay, I was like, why is it sometimes they're just like, hmm, this sucks. Sometimes they're like, oh, it's just a box. And other times they're like, fuck you, box. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? I can't remember. Cargo door, cargo door. Okay. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Oh, I need Touch that Touch any thing. one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. I didn't mean to do- God damn it. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. Okay. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Oops. Let's not fuck it up this time. Okay. This is so hard to like, it's disorienting as fuck. probably could have went there but for some reason I didn't think there was like room I did it be careful snake I know that airlock is set with infrared sensors I thought I did it okay oh and then I need this Now we're outside. What now? Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Oh shit. Use a mine detector. Fuck. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> I was gonna say no, very original name. That. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Oh shit, he's a fan. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the stream, Deep Throat. Love you. Okay, there's mines, and we have a mine detector. Uh. I thought it was right in front of me, like right there. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? <laughs> Okay, uh, he's gonna call me again. Uh oh. I can take the mines. Well, shit. This is Raven's territory. Are you Raven? Snakes don't belong in Alaska. You're not wrong. I will not let you pass. Send him 
a message. Yikes. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight. <laughs> let's fight. Okay, uh, we need something to blow him up. Grenades. We have lots of grenades. Oops. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're right. I need to ration up. I don't need to carry around. Or maybe I should pick these up first. How do I... How do I pick them up? Crawl. I don't want to talk to this guy again. Can I just ignore it? My depth per perception is off. I just can't... You know how it is. <laughs> I like these old games that, um don't punish you for like dying a shit ton. Okay, uh, no. Okay, I'm not in the mood, Deep Throat. <laughs> I'd rather step on a landmine than talk to you. Okay, we got them all, except for that one up there. Okay, get our rations ready. Get our grenades ready. Now let's fight. Oh shit. Fuck. My health bar? Oh, Pit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pit. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Is it better here or should I put it down here in the bottom right? Would it be better down here? Because I noticed I was covering the codec too and I don't want to move it a shit ton. No, because then it'll cover... It'll block weapons there. Oh fuck. I need to adjust that alert. Okay, Pit. I'm sorry. I'm going to move it. I know you don't like it when I move it a bunch. <laughs> For those who of you who are new, I'm talking about my editor. Just cover the entire screen. You guys don't want to see it. My first Undertale stream was 80% moving my window. That makes sense, yeah. Oh, he's just waiting for me up there? <laughs> I don't... Okay. He's a tank? Well, I know he's a tank, but how am I supposed to fight a tank? With grenades, right? Let's see, what do we have? What does this do? Oh, okay. Excuse me? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's not good. I've figured that out. Some way. Ask Nastasha. 
She knows everything there is to know about weapon systems. Her frequency is 141.52. 141.52. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. Mm -hmm. I was happy to accept. We must cool. not allow terrorists to get their hands on mm. nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop Yeah, them. what do you know about tanks? You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? Seems so. The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen. Tanks. And neither can I. Tanks, though. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Mm -hmm. Same here, Snake. Tanks? That M1 tank <laughs> Thank is you. equipped with advanced Victronics. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse the tracking system. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. Hmm. I already knew that. Anything else? Even if you can get close, the M1 tank's maximum speed is 45 miles per hour. First, you'll have to slow it down. Go after its caterpillars with C4 or grenades. Once it slows down, toss a grenade in the commander's turret. The M1 has exceptionally strong armor. With your weapons, the only way to beat it is to attack the soldiers inside through the hatch. Try to aim at the upper hatch with your grenades. This all seems like shit I knew. So I just need to do what I was trying to do better. Maybe he'll let me just like run around in a box and he won't know anything about said box. And I only have one of these left. I had to use the claymores to slow it down because it was too fast beforehand. No new. No. Got him. Hope you are happy he got the card. You would be wise not to underestimate him. How was Babby for think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. 
but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. <laughs> In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Let's go. Down. We did it. My adrenaline's pumping from it, though. <laughs> if you're new here, I... Um, never played like PlayStation games growing up. I grew up on Nintendo, like the N64. I don't know how to get out of here. I'll figure it out though. The N64 was my first console. So I missed out on a lot of like these old, like classic games. And uh, so this is cool to go back and play. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. Oh, what? what? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? These people are controlling. They keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, all right. Oh no, there's a guy. There's my box. Just a box. Just a box. More chaff grenades. Good. Grenades. Good. Will we play them all? Maybe. I actually tried to play five, like maybe a year after it came out, and I didn't like it. I did not like the controls, but I don't know. I'm willing to try it again if we get that far. But yeah, I was supposed to call that lady, huh? Since I didn't actually call her in the fight. One, five. What was it? What's her phone number? No. Oh. A cardboard box. I heard stories from one, four, my one, uncle, five, but I always thought he was pulling my leg. I've got no comment. I can't believe Meryl would make fun of me. Huh? Ah! Shit. I'm all the way back here. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, maybe that's a good stopping point anyway, because it's it's midnight. 